guys, the CTA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. We're proud to announce that LaunchBox 10.7 has been released. Like with all new LaunchBox releases, there's some new fixes, improvements, and new features. Plus, we've also released a new version for Android, and this is really big for a lot of people because it will allow you to import your games, download your metadata, box art, and backgrounds directly on your Android device, and I'll be covering that by the end of this video. But first up, let's get into some of the new features with 10.7. So first on the list here, you can now filter your library based on missing media. In the sidebar dropdown, just select missing games media and then pick the appropriate media type. So if you're missing, let's say, background images, you can search for those specific games that are missing that type of media. You can try to re-download that missing media or you could add it yourself. Next up, you can now reset a game's play count or last play date by selecting a game. And you can also do this with multiple games. So it's really easy to do. I'm gonna head over to my launch box do Sega Genesis and the Adams Family. I'm a little embarrassed I've played this nine times, so I'm just gonna right click here. I don't want anybody to see this. I'm gonna scroll down here to reset play count. Yes, I don't want anybody to know that I've played the Adams Family game nine times. So we can kind of refresh it here. No, it doesn't look like I've ever touched this one. And if you have a keen eye, you might notice that I have the playtime listed here. Now, this isn't built into LaunchBox just yet but there is a plugin over on the forum by an awesome user named Gorilla. Now this is really easy to use. He's already put out a couple fixes for it and it works great. I've been using it for about three days now and it's very easy to install. So all you're gonna do is download the file, extract it, and place that extracted file in your LaunchBox plugin folder. I will leave a link to this and I wanna give a big shout out for Gorilla for making this here because it's absolutely amazing and this is something that I and a lot of other users have been wanting for a very long time. So you can now download it from the forums in the download section. Moving back to the list here, we have two because I do want to demo both of these. You can now manually check for updates in LaunchBox under help. In the past, we had to kind of set it to either update on startup or download in background. This will just give you the option to go ahead and check for an update anytime you want. And you can also now force update metadata from the LaunchBox games database from that help section also. So I'm going to demo both of those real quick. We'll go up here to help, check for new updates. There's no new updates. I'm fully updated here. And we'll go back to help. And we can force update the game's database. So those are also two new features built into LaunchBox 10.7. So like I mentioned, there's also a lot of new fixes and improvements, but I think the most notable one here is LaunchBox and Big Box now uses an improved process for media download when you're importing your games or you just need to refresh your media. It's set up for threaded downloading now, and this will significantly increase the download speed, especially from the LaunchBox games database. So importing your game and downloading all of your media should go much quicker now with threaded downloads enabled. Alongside the release of LaunchBox 10.7 for Windows, we've also released a new version for Android, and this actually now allows you to import your games directly on your device. It's really easy to use. Up in the top left-hand corner, we're going to go into Settings. Import Games is our new option. We can select the folder we want to import the games from. I'm going to go with my SD card, Games, and I'll just import NES. I want to select this folder. Now we also have some other options. Platform for imported games that automatically detected it as NES games. You can change this if you need to. Download box front images, download background images, combine ROMs with matching titles into a single game, import games from subfolders, and if you're importing MAME here, you can use MAME metadata. But other than those options, I usually just leave everything like it is. Go down to the bottom, proceed with import. Gives me a list of the games I'm gonna be importing. I'll click proceed and it's now going to download the metadata, box art, and background images as long as that's what you chose. And keep in mind, even when downloading media on Android, it's set up for threaded downloading, so it should go pretty fast because we're only downloading a box art image and a background image. So as you can see now, we have NES imported. Just open it up. I'll go to my boxes view and it's imported all of my games, box art, and the backgrounds. So it's super easy to use, and if you guys are really interested, I can do a full tutorial later on this week. Just let us know in the comments below. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching, and I hope you enjoyed LaunchBox 10.7 and the new release for Android. 
I definitely recommend heading over to the forum. I will leave a link in the description, but you need to download Gorilla's Playtime Tracker. This is pretty awesome. It's something I personally have been wanting for a very long time, and we finally have it thanks to Gorilla and his new plugin. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for using LaunchBox.